Welcome back to another review. I've got a couple of battery chargers in for testing. These two were sent in via Galissi. I have the S6 and S4 chargers. Uh, I thought it makes sense to look at both of them together. So the main features on the S6, apart from the six slots, obviously, we have three slots with fast charging of two amps on each slot. And that's quite interesting, particularly if you use a lot of larger capacity batteries. Do note we do have the safety, safety certifications on the bottom and on the S4 not as exciting but we do have a single slot which can charge at 2 amps so that's something which is quite unusual for a charger in this price range there's your verification code that you can check now looking at the 6 slot version first you can see the outer bays that have larger size so you can fit bigger cells in those and the construction on this is actually pretty good has to be said there's your input there 12 volts 3 amps the plastics are quite good materials not quite as good as the Nightcore or Xstar chargers but they don't feel flimsy in any way and you do have quite a lot of ventilation on the underside as well you'll also see they've raised the contact points on both uh, both the rails and on the top of the charger there and uh, slightly different design but it does seem to work well I didn't have any problems at all with um, small cells and three of the bays have the fast charging 1, 3 and 6 and there's a quick shot on the reverse to show you the contacts and a single button which is used to cycle through the information this is your power adapter the 12 volt 3 amps and quite a long cable 1.5 meters and the user guide which is pretty basic and doesn't really cover as much as I would like. I know this is an automatic charger but still I would have liked a bit more explanation on the display in particular which I will cover shortly. The S4 charger uh, quite similar in size to the Nightcore D4 again you have the slightly larger wider bays and they're using the same style of contacts and the uh, raised contact points do like the springs on both of these chargers because they are quite effective about the right tension and they are very smooth indeed one of the smoothest I've seen on a charger you'll see the markings there for the 2 amp fast charging as well also we have two buttons on the S4 um, they both do the same thing so I'm not sure why they're there uh, that's just for changing the information figure of 8 connector and there's a 5.5 millimeter barrel style connector for an adapter there's no car charger with this but I'm not sure if you can get one uh, later on now there's just some specs on the bottom and the underside with your silicone pads again good ventilation with this quite pleased to see this and I can report already that there's been no issues at all with battery temperatures there's the cable around about 1.2 meters I have the UK version and again instruction manuals pretty basic doesn't really tell me the information that I want to see particularly about the display but anyway that's something else to come on to compared to the D4 obviously the 6 bay is quite a bit bigger but the 4 bay is slightly taller and both of these chargers have 0 volt, zero volt activation but the display does turn off after about 20 seconds so there's no dim mode on either of these chargers most chargers that I've looked at will dim the display after 20-30 seconds so you can still see it but with these what you're going to have to do is go in and either press the button it will turn on again if you insert a cell or just push and hold and it will flick briefly to let you know that the display will stay on so that's kind of a workaround would like to see that uh, display area looked at uh, same situation with the 4 bay one you can again just press the button one of the buttons on the side to uh, keep the display on and you do have on both of these chargers the reverse polarity protection which is what you would expect from a charger it would just come up with the error message on the screen so that you know that you've inserted them the wrong way around now I'm putting your battery into the fast charging slot you can see there at 2 amps so you get your percentage display come up you can also cycle through the other information so you have 2 amps on that um, or 2 slots at 1 amp once you put another battery in it will drop it down to one amp on that nickel metal hydride always charges at half an amp regardless of the battery size so that's a fixed sort of automatic charging rate that they have which is fine by unless you're using the C type cells so that's one thing to bear in mind with these I think they're aimed more at lithium users but still that's a reasonable charging rate and there's your three bays for the fast charging so you can load them up and charge all three cells 
at the full 2 amps which is quite impressive for a charger a lot of chargers would definitely drop down their charging rate once you insert more than a couple of cells so that could be something which would appeal to someone who's a heavy battery user or if you use a lot of the larger cells you get quick recharge times on those once you go over the uh, three cells and four or more then you're down to one amp charging on this charger which is still quite quick because you can charge a total of six at one amp and that's not to be sniffed at either but if I'm going to start picking hairs it would have to be that small lithium cells are not well catered for not with the S6 you can't charge at anything less for lithium than one amp and that's too fast for small cells the 14500s or uh, CR123A batteries and that's not really ideal you want half an amp max charging on those there is a workaround on the S4 where you can insert uh, three cells it will drop down to half an amp so you can do that um, but it's really just a workaround I would have liked to have seen them adding the contact points onto the uh, rails so it knows a smaller cell will be in there so there's no way to change that on the S6 so there's definitely not the charger to get if you, you want to charge small lithium ion batteries I'm just showing you here now I've put three in together three small lithium cells so they're charging at half an amp which is fine um, you can either do that or just load it up with the other batteries it won't redistrib redistribute the uh, current if you take cells out either so it's fairly safe in that regard just going through charging some uh, nickel metal hydride cells and I'll show you the more in detailed information so apart from the percentage which flashes when it's charging you have the voltage milliamp hours the amount of current that's charged into the batteries take that into account so if you want to check capacity you want fully discharged cells and it tells you the time that it's spent charging the batteries so useful it's simple information uh, a lot of chargers wouldn't tell you that but it, it is quite handy to see that now one thing I did notice with some nickel metal hydride cells is if you push them down on the contacts and push them up again um, it wasn't a problem with the any loop but on the uni Ross see it jump from 13 percent and then it will jump up to 28 so it's not always entirely accurate for nickel metal hydride cells on the older cells uh, didn't see any problems with the lithium ones or the newer batteries the uh, any loops which are much newer so now I finished charging on this and I'll cycle through the information you'll see exactly how much is charged into each battery and it will tell you how long it's taken to charge and the voltage termination on this I will test shortly but the display freezes when it has finished charging it's not uncommon for chargers the Nightcore D4 does exactly the same and I'm just showing you the S4 you can see the one by on the right still charging and the percentage is flashing to let you know it's charging some people prefer to have the bars I don't mind myself I think this works okay now the one thing I did notice is that the viewing angles aren't the best on these chargers uh, the S4 is also brighter than the backlight but if you're looking at it from acute angles um, it starts to lose its contrast so it could be a bit tricky to see that if it's on a desk in a distance now I'm going on to the termination test and all of the cells that I pulled off this and I put quite a lot through it lithium iron were coming on at uh, coming off the charger at between 4.18 to 4.2 and the newer nickel metal hydride cells the any loop good termination of 1.5 just over and with the larger lithium in there up to the 4.2 but the older nickel metal hydride cells weren't fully charging there's an any loop to show you the difference they all went in at the same time and they all came off at different times I've taken them off just as they finished uh, here's a new Sony cell so that was better so they're slightly undercharging on the older nickel metal hydride cells quick note on charging go for the 2 amp charging on larger batteries the 21700 or 26650s or the high drain 18650s I charge the uh, protected cells normally at 1 amp or the higher capacity um, unprotected cells at 1 amp as well those recommended charging rates for those batteries and you will see manufacturers list them out so really the main thing that I would change on these chargers is the uh, auto dim feature add that I would also like to see an ability to charge small lithium ion cells at around about half an amp those are the main ones there's a few other points that I've made there on the upside 
the S4 can charge a single cell at 2 amps which is unusual and possibly useful and the S6 obviously that's probably going to be even more interesting because you can charge 3 at 2 amps and also 6 at an amp if you want to so interesting chargers a few tweaks to make them great chargers but I think they're probably worth looking at as long as you're not one that charges small lithium ion batteries